This video illustrates the use of IGW to perform model calibration, both manual and automatic using U-code. First, a synthetic model is created with two zones having distinct hydraulic conductivity values and with multiple sources and sinks. This model is discretized and run and randomly sampled at a number of points throughout the modeling domain. The data sampling can be done such that the calibration data is perfect, that is, no noise is introduced into the data, or by introducing some random noise to the data reflecting real-world situations, where data are typically noisy. The manual cal calibration process involves importing the data points into the model as calibration data. The unknown model parameters, in this case the two hydraulic conductivity values, are varied and the model predictions are compared to the data until the right combination of values are arrived at such that the model fits the data. In the automatic calibration process, an initial guess is made for each of the unknown model parameters and the parameter estimation algorithm works by changing the model parameters to minimize the error function, typically a weighted sum of squared residuals between the model and the data. When perfect data is used for parameter estimation, the automatic calibration process converges to the perfect solution, that is, the true parameter values, and when noisy data is used, the prediction is close to the truth. Note that the only source of uncertainty in this example is the random noise added to the data, since there is no uncertainty introduced by the conceptual model of the system being modeled. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. The synthetic model used in this example includes two zones with distinctly different hydraulic conductivity values. Note that the domain polygon has k equal to 10 meters per day, while the smaller zone has k equal to 100 meters per day. Yet, the applied recharge and aquifer elevations in the two zones are identical. 2. In Attributes Explorer, select the polyline along the right edge of the model domain. Note that this polyline is assigned as a constant prescribed head boundary. Also note that each well is withdrawing groundwater from the model at a rate of 2,500 meters cubed per day. 3. Discretize and run the model. 4. Sample the model at random locations to collect head data. Select the domain polygon and go to Utilities, Data Sampling, and then Random Sampling. The data random sampling window will appear. Check head under selected variables, then click save. Note that the user can change the number of random locations to sample and the seed, as well as apply a nugget effect. By default, the output file will be saved in C temp, but the user may change the path and file name. 5. Now export the data for parameter esp estimation. Go to Utilities, Data Sampling, Random Sampling, Parameter Estimation. In the Data Random Sampling window, click on Export for Automatic Calibration and save the data as an IGW data file with a .dat file extension. Apply a nugget effect to introduce noise into the data. Use a standard deviation of 0.2 meters and export the data as the noisy data set. 6. Select Zone 2 in Attributes Explorer and right click and select Import Scatter Points. Load the scatter points created in Step 4. Right click on Zone 2 in Attributes Explorer, then select Switch List. Go to the Scatter Point Control tab and click Copy Starting Head to Calibration Head. Again, right click on Zone 2 in Attributes Explorer, then select Switch List. 7. With the domain polygon selected, assign a K value of 20 meters per day. Then in the smaller zone, assign a K value of 50 meters per day. 8. Discretize and run the model. Nine. Go to Utilities, Data Sampling, then Show Model versus Observe Sampling at Calibration Head. This displays a calibration plot of the model head with adjusted K values versus the calibration scatter points. Ten. Close the plot and change the domain polygon K to 50 meter per day and the smaller zone K to 100 meter per day. 11. Discretize and run the model, then display the calibration as done in step 9. Note the poor agreement between the data from the updated model and the calibration head scatter points. 12. Close the plot and change the domain polygon K to 10 meter per day and leave the smaller zone K at 100 meter per day. 13. Discretize and run the model, then display the calibration plot as done in step 9 and step 11. As expected, there is perfect agreement between the head and the updated model and the calibration scatter points. 14. Select the Domain Polygon in Attributes Explorer and go to the Scatter Point Control tab. 
click delete all scatter points in this zone to delete all the scatter points in the model. 15. Select the domain polygon and change its K to 50 meter per day and check the box next to calibration. 16. Select the smaller zone and change its K to 50 meter per day and then check the box next to calibration. 17. Discretize the model and open solver settings. Go to the inverse tab to perform automatic parameter estimation. Check the automatic calibration box under parameter lists and that ensure that the max value of K that will be tested is 1000 meter per day and that the minimum K that will be tested is 0.001 meter per day for each zone in the model. The starting K value in each case is 50 meter per day. Under Observation, ensure that the Read from File is selected and open the options. In the Head Data tab, click on Load to import the perfect data points created in Step 5. Eighteen. Run the model. A calibration results window will appear while the model is simulated for each possible combination of K values in the large zone and the smaller zone. Also shown in this window is the parameter estimation convergent history and the composite scaled sensitivity plot. Note that the estimated values of K from automatic parameter estimation are equal to the true values that we expect. Select Model vs. Data to show the simulated head versus the perfect data plot after parameter estimation is completed. Note the perfect agreement between the model and the data. Select Model vs. Data with Initial Model to show the initial model heads for K equals 50 meters per day in both zones and the model heads after parameter estimation is completed. Nineteen. Open Solver Settings and go to the Inverse tab. Under Observation, ensure that Read from File is selected and open the options. Load the noisy scatter points created in Step 5. Twenty. Run the model once more. Note the different estimated K values and the different results in the convergent history plot, the calibration plot, and the CSS plot because of using the noisy data to calibrate the model.